your own understanding. Truth under Babylon's imperialism. What up? Only here uh, as a state of emergency. There's a lot of things going on, obviously, as we all know. So I'm going to actually reach into the, the grab bag of bullshit that the indigenous have to experience out here. So I reach into the grab bag, and today I'll pull out. There's a bunch of things I can grab on, but obviously not enough time for one video. So I'm going to grab uh, reparations out of, the, out of the grab bag of bullshit. Reparations. Uh, this is a serious subject, even to the point where you have... You know, artists, like one in particular, uh, O'Shea Jackson, who I mentioned before, I have a whole video uh, on Mr. Jackson and his efforts to try to do something for the black community in regard to a contract with the uh, with black America, contract with black America. Just that title alone disturbs the shit out of me, only because we all know what a con is. We all know what contraction is. So, you know, I'm very big on uh, wordism and the understanding of energy and how it resonates. So this contract with Black America, I have no idea about the verbiage. I didn't get a chance to look at it. So, you know, just the way it sounds to me, it sounds like fuckery. But looking at Ice Cube's uh, history and knowing what I know about Ice Cube and being a huge supporter of Ice Cube when it comes to his art and the, the message and just his... Uh, his influence, a huge supporter. So, judging by the things that he said, judging by the things that I can connect with, with um, the things that he's put out, I must trust in his effort. Even if it is on a another aspect of the tyranny that I just don't don't appreciate anyway. But it's something. So I appreciate that. Now, get on to the subject of reparations. We're talking about reparations. You're talking about something that comes from uh, the economic standpoint of the condition of America. You're talking about something that comes from uh, the idealism of uh, tyranny and automation. So that is a whole spectrum, whole realm of understanding and particular study that most of us, most of us have not done. And will not do. So we will not understand that aspect of uh, the system. So when you meander through it and try to, you know, understand little little parts, the little political issues and little bureaucratic, uh, you know, findings and shit like that, it's, you're just in a, a web of nonsense that you'll never understand because it comes from an idealism of something you are not a part of. Speaking to the indigenous. So... With all that said, you have your issue of reparations that you're looking for, that you're looking forward to. Um, the reason I say this is never going to happen is because the idea of everything, for it to happen opposite of nature, it needs to happen opposite of the indigenous. So whatever it is that you need to support your cause will not happen. So, in the realm of morality, in the realm of uh, world understanding, world embrace. Um, when you put things like tyranny, so-called racism, and all these other atrocities on a world court, um, obviously justice has to be had because we all have a moral agreement and a moral understanding of what right and wrong is. So... With that said, you have accountability. Accountability will not be had because of the idea and the idealism behind automation. There will not and cannot be accountability because the means to the end of automation means the demise of nature, period. Period, point blank. And if you are a natural biological being or a natural plant life or anything natural seeding from the earth, you are the enemy. So, reparations in the sense that you understand with the feeble intelligence that we've been fed uh, in, a, in a monetary sense <laughs> would be in the trillions. The hyper trillions. To the point where obviously you would break America in the economic sense. 
um, in the sense of fantasy, which uh, the economics is based on, we can do it. We can give you can give out trillions and it really not mean anything. But you cannot do that if you want to maintain the idea of power. Power has been shifted from nature, natural resources, and things like that. Hopefully this video doesn't cut off and I have enough memory because I have to make a part two. And I really don't want to do that, so I'm going to try to hurry up here. So now, um, you have nature as being the, the, the resource. You have precious metals and things like that. We went on that standard for a while, and the reasons we were able to maintain that standard for a, a brief moment is because we were able to influence other countries to allow us to basically steal their resources and sell them back in the form of products and, and services and things like that and undercut them and undermine them when it comes to their efforts to get along with that same system. So once we had that uh, system in place uh, using slavery, we're able to uh, have uh, free labor to get these things in motion. To totally the idea is automation. So now you've built a... A, a conglomerate of ideas based on automation, which basically spawns companies and, and cooperation or, or corporations uh, to that effect. And there's a, a whole system of control behind that because you need participation. You need uh, hypnosis in order for people to obviously participate in their own demise and their own, uh, uh, own rejection so to speak, when it comes to bringing online the reality of automation. It is uh, without the need of uh, labor, traditional labor, so to speak, uh, human beings, so to speak, which is why this is another video, but jobs, in the sense that we used to understand them, are totally um, obsolete. So you're looking for a job, you're trying to find occupation, somewhere to, something to do, like... Machines have taken that years ago. There is no jobs. There's no such thing as a job anymore. So forget that. So all that all that word isn't that they use to say jobs this and jobs that. It's just more fuckery to keep you thinking that the system is actually working. The traditional system, in a sense, that it used to actually create production because of the need to get to automation. There's no longer that anymore. So now, reparations. I keep going off on a tangent. My apologies, but I need you to understand all these things. There is a, a, a feeling, there's an, an energy and emotion behind all this in order for it to work. So, reparations. Now, you obviously want accountability. They've shown that they will will give reparations to anyone and everyone except the indigenous. Why? Because the indigenous have to be, they have to be on, a, on their heels. They have to be on, on a stress level that's out of this world because they have to have their immune system compromised that's another way to obviously continue the genocide continue the war that's been declared on the indigenous over 700 years ago which uh, the indigenous have no idea about so anyway reparations accountability it cannot happen and what it will be what has been planned on for reparations is the idea of it being obvious um it needs to happen obviously but this is what they're doing. They, they sold, they made you build this country into a corporation. This corporation now put its tentacles all across the world. Now these tentacles are actually continuing the idea of automation and making these people join uh, what they call democracy, which is basically just a, a means to get more participants in the idea of automation, economics, monetary system, so to speak, all this has to happen in order to keep you unfocused on what the true currency will end up being, which is you. You're the currency now. You, But anyway, in order to get to that, there's a whole other system and stage of things that have to happen. Reparations. I have to keep getting back to this, keep reminding myself about this, because everything I'm saying is in reference and pertains to the reparations. Accountability cannot happen because... What's happening now, they're going to use the plight of the indigenous, 
and they know they're transferring uh, all the responsibility over into the economic system, uh, which is based on nothing. There is no resources based on it. They took it away from precious metals and put it into this the fact that we have power. So now it's a power thing. So the idea behind the dollar is nothing but power that America has projected through propaganda, media, and all this other stuff. So it's basically based on just the fact that they say they have this power. This power has been accumulated by tyranny and, and, and espionage and all types of just fuckery. So, they know that only lasts so long. That only lasts so long. That influence only lasts so long. They know that their genetics and their idealism is, is about to come to a head where Armageddon, which is a mass awakening, it starts to unfold. They know this. They have no problem with transferring the debt of the country, of what they have built over, the responsibility, the accountability over to you must understand this, China. So, when the president who has ties to China right now, bank accounts in China and shit like that, when the person who basically is running against him has also the same dealings in other so-called communist places, um, this is to transfer responsibility, to transfer the accountability over to the economics, which is basically going to be uh, ran by uh, Chinese influence. So, in order for you to get anything, Mr. Indigenous, as far as repair for building this fuckery, they've transferred the responsibility over through China through debt. So, now they can have you look to China for reparations, and China has no idea what the fuck you're talking about, because they don't care. They're about money, and they're about uh, the control, uh, which is basically not money. It's, it's, it's basically... Uh, the influence, and the only way to get the way to get to, to the influence is through the machinery, the mechanics, uh, the, the the dependence on nature goes away, and the dependence on machinery takes hold. So therefore, because you are so natural, you depend on natural things to uh, support your natural immune system. There is now nothing but radiation, uh, crazy high level EMF waves, and this other shit that just totally fucks you over. So, ba so basically, their uh, utopia, their terraformed utopia, can take hold. So, uh, I mentioned reparations very slightly in that whole reparations uh, presentation because that is the very least amount of effort you should be looking at because they're never going to give you any type of regard for what you have done you have to understand that everything has been taken from you and then get ready to make the effort to bring everybody on board with the idea that everything has been taken from you and will continue to be taken from you until you decide that it can happen no more because all these like i said responsibilities and 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 uh, regard for you that should be going on is being transferred into the realm of economics, which is basically an idea. And an idea has nothing, nothing tangible when it comes to nature. It's just basically a thought. And you're bringing a thought to reality um, through automation, and now your issue will be forgotten through the convenience of... Uh, convenience. Which is inconvenient to nature. And the natural laws. That's it.